Good morning, Carrie and Alex. We were standing right here yesterday and the traffic was completely backed up around the overpass on Payne Street. And now if we take a look over here, you can see no backup here. Not really a lot of cars out yet this morning because we're just a little out uh, after 5 a.m. But traffic is now flowing. We have seen cars now traveling back on 64 East. It opened just after one o'clock this morning, and that's nearly 20 hours since two semis, a garbage truck, SUV, and a sedan crashed and caught fire. The driver of one of those semis died. Three other drivers were hurt and taken to the hospital. Firefighters tell us the location of the crash and fire posed significant challenges. The garbage truck that was involved was one that's fueled by compressed natural gas. Uh, that also creates an issue the, when you're talking about fire impingement on that. So that's something that they had to take into consideration to make sure you kept the heat off of that uh, natural gas tank so we don't have a secondary explosion. Uh, there's just a lot of things that they had to deal with. Another thing they had to deal with, the extreme cold, which did also impact. They also had limited water supply, but luckily they were able to get that fire out and under control in about 30 minutes. Now, this fire and crash all under investigation. Reporting live, Madison Elliott, WLKY News. Madison, thank